Hey, what's happening guys? Today, I want to talk about these little guys here. What are they? Well, they are SIP resistor networks or resistor packages. That is SIP, S-I-P, and that just stands for Single Inline Package. <clears throat> and what we've got going on here is basically something like this so we have in this case four four resistors there's R1, R2, R3 and R4 and they each have an individual contact here and then we have this pin over here which is common to all of them. So it's simply a resistor network. There's nothing special here. But this is a really cool device and it's a nice time saver. Now these uh, SIP packages come in all different sizes. This is a 10 pin, that's a 12 pin, and they come in all different resistances. This is 220 ohms, this one is 221 ohms. And I'll give you an idea how they work here. So we'll put that on resistance. And now I'm going to zoom in on the SIP here so you can see it. And you see it? Well, maybe if I focus. 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 Try it again. There we go. You see that <clears throat> little dot right there? That is telling you which is the common pin. So, if we hook up our meter here, with one lead on the dot or the common pin, and then we can come out here and measure, so here's 220 ohms, move over to the next one. That's 219.7, you know. As we move down here, there's a small amount of variance. But basically, they are all 220 ohms and all common to that pin. So you'll notice if I move off of our common pin and I just grab a couple randoms here, we get uh, like double. So you don't want to do that. Now, <clears throat> one thing you have to be aware of is these are generally ceramic inside and they can break. And for instance, this one here is broken. So if we clip onto our common pin down here, turn that light back on so you guys can see, and we go to the first resistor in the network, you see we get 220.4 ohms. But if we move out, we get nothing. Whoops, wasn't hooked on there that time. These little micro grabbers are tiny. And my eyes are old. So yeah, this is broken right after that first resistor. And like I said, these are ceramic. So if we can uh, zoom down here, you can take a look in there and see that. That's what you got in there. I break it again. Ah, there we go. Yep. So they won't handle or hold up well to abuse. But yeah, you're generally going to find these inside of a closed off project or package, so it's not a problem. So where do you use something like this? Well, somewhere where you need a lot of resistors that are repeating. So here is an example of both. Now here is the way to do it with discrete components. Here are four green LEDs and four 220 ohm resistors. Over here we have the same four green LEDs and a 220 ohm SIP resistor package. And if I turn on the output of the power supply, 
you should be able to see that the brightness is the same. And we can go ahead and bring in a meter and put it on the current mode here. Bring that over to milliamps. Let me zoom out here a little bit so you guys get a better picture. And what I'll do is I'll pull out one of these leads here. And we'll connect our meter up in between. I'm like blinded by these LEDs right now. <laughs> so I'm kind of going by feel here. Okay, there we go. So there's one with a 220 ohm resistor and I'm feeding this uh, 5 volts. You see we're getting 9.6 milliamps. I'll plug that guy back in here. Hopefully in the correct hole. There we go. And then we can come over here. Now I'll unplug one of these we'll do the same thing. So, 9.9. .9. Yeah, we're looking at a difference of 30 milliamps. I'm sorry. 0.3 milliamps. Sometimes my decimal places get misplaced. But it is a, uh, like I said, it's a time saver, and it's definitely a space saver and a wiring saver. And now you're probably all blinded and dazzled by that, so we can shut it off. We'll come down here and take a better look. You can see how much simpler this is, how much neater. I mean, generally you'd want to trim these if you're doing this for a permanent project. But that is always going to be neater than that. Nothing uh, difficult to grasp here. No hard math, nothing. Just a resistor network, sometimes called a SIP resistor or a SIP package. Uh, Borns is a company that makes these, but lots of companies make them. They're pretty cheap. Um, pick them up in quantities of 10 or more for... 20 to 30 cents a piece. Yeah. Available in all different resistances. So if you guys enjoyed learning a bit about a SIP package and how it's put together, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share. And don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks for watching. Big thanks to the patrons. That's it. I'm out of here. Peace.